Hello chums, my name is Dr Charles Knight and in this really short video I'm going to take you through uh, a really effective means that I've been using for ooh, three years now to improve the quality of the assessments that I give to students, drive up student engagement with the assessments, co-create knowledge with the students um, and, and really make sure that the students know before we get started in a, in a way that's time effective for me and cuts out loads of emails and all of that sort of nonsense about what they need to do. This is really straightforward. I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video that you know how Google Docs works. If you don't, there are loads of guides about how to do it. I'll give you a couple of brief tips, but really this is about how you can use it to drive up the quality of your assignment. This is really straightforward. Okay. You, uh, this is a, an assignment of mine from uh, a couple of years ago. It's really as straightforward as this. Uh, when you set an assignment, create a Google document and um, upload your assignment or create a new Google document and cut and paste your assignment into it. Then share that assignment. There's a number of different ways you can do it. You can just make it publicly available to anybody or you can add your students uh, by name to give them access, okay? What I typically do, I provide a copy of the uh, assignment to students in a draft form, I upload it to Google Docs, and then the students have a set period of time to have a look at the assignment, make comments, suggest changes to the assignments. Uh, so here was the suggestion I took on board. Here's a question about the word limits. Um, someone's asked me about the submission date. The main part, this, this assignment, by the way, was an assignment where students had to do, uh, they had to select an organization of their own choice for uh, to do a market analysis of and do a competitive analysis. One of the questions that I said to the students was, um, uh, what would be good example cases that we could put in here? Um, I ask the students questions such as, you know, do the task instructions make sense? Uh, what do I need to clarify or change? One of the students said, um, you know, I'm confused. Do you mean I have to find some latest examples about decision making by some companies or just a simple decision made by myself? Uh, I said that was a good point and I changed how I'd written that. There was questions about the number of models or perspectives. Um, there was lots of questions. This one uh, document um, I made available to the students one Thursday morning. In the space of uh, four hours, the students made somewhere in excess of uh, 2,000 small edits and they left about 50 comments on the assignment. Some of the assignments uh, I, I integrated into the finished assignment. Others I explained to the students why I wouldn't change them. But also as well, um, it made uh, it made me aware of things that I thought were perfectly clear and weren't, and I made them clear. There's a number of different advantages to this. Students feel like they've got ownership of the assignment in a way that they don't if you simply just say, here's the assignment. Uh, I found it improves the quality of my assessments because the students themselves point out before the assessment is final things that I think are perfectly clear. And aren't so I don't have to answer emails about those points or make amendments uh, and and uh, overall it's been a success and it's really quick and easy to do set up a Google document import the assignment give the students a set period of time to make suggestions give them sharing rights let them get on with it now I did answer actually quite a few questions on here but the majority of stuff uh, was interaction between um, students themselves and uh, a lot of the comments are no longer here because the students dealt with issues they just uh, resolved the comment and it disappeared or I did. And that is a really quick easy way to engage your students drive up the quality of your assessment. I hope you found that helpful and I hope you have enjoyed this video.